Okay, let's go to the paparazzi. It's still early days for Dramacan as it prepares for its first major theatrical production for the year. This production has special significance for young director Danielle Dubois as it would be her first time directing a full scripted play that she has written herself. It's a comedy, but it's dark, real comedy. It explores the world of heartbreak and it's a case, I wrote the script, and it's a case of about five people who are in a center and the main focus, you have a counselor, but you're discussing the issues and we zone into each of the characters. All five of them are starkly different and have their story, but then you have the counselor who comes in as the voice of reason. For the roles and auditioning, you have to decide this is a role that you're taking up and you have to work for it. <laughs> I write. Robert Rennie, um, actor. My name is Felina Murray. <laughs> you continue to express your feelings. I am Dishon, Dishon Augustin, but people know me as T Black. My name is Maeve. I was actually looking at the, the doctor role because I think I have quite a, a nice British accent, if you know what I mean. The counsellor is very proper and he has an English accent and he's listening and he doesn't judge and he gives you the perspective that you need to basically move on. I've had a little bit of experience in acting before. Uh, I came from Carrie Festa, actually that shoot, you know, was, um, was what we wore when we first landed in Trinidad. It's become my favorite shoot and so I, I wear it so that I can I can somewhat channel that energy from all the Carrie Festa spirits. I was actually a little bit intimidated when they were doing the read through because these are people that have been in plays before and they, you know they're going Carrie Festa and they're doing anything and I never, I, I've never been in a play so I feel a little bit intimidated. Let's clap for him guys. I was actually looking at the, the doctor room. I didn't want to to audition for Kashpan per se. Kashpan is amazing, it's very colorful, it's very exciting and I love the flavor he brings with the patois, with the English and his whole interpretation and he brings his personality into it that makes it so real and I mean I, I just love that he, the way he talks, the way he expresses his emotions and you know the funny part that he didn't understand what women are all about. I mean, come on, they're going to take your money, Cashman. <laughs> when I pick up a role, I really try to do it to the best of my ability. One of the things people have accused me of, which is kind of true, is that I add my own lines in the, you know, and I try to upstage everybody because, you know, it's, it's at the end of the day, it's an audition, they will choose the best. So I wanted to really, really put out my best foot forward, my own interpretation of the character. And it looked like as soon as I was done with Cashpan, nobody else wanted to do it. And I, I can't say that I was not happy about that. I was quite, I was quite content, to be honest, that everybody sat down. Mm, it's not true. I, so I just told them to keep quiet and then they just started giving me jokes about my future cuts. Not bad for your first day. Someone wants to tell Dama what our affirmation is? The name of the place is called the Gopoel Rehabilitation Center. Dramacan is not the only theatre group preparing for a production in the months to come. Gemstone Productions, led by seasoned director Caden Ford, is also in the throes of rehearsals for his original play, Give Me a Chance. That's all you care for, you know. Your image. Your false shut image. Up. Image without. I said, shut up.
I've been doing theatre for the past, well, almost 30 years plus. Yeah, yeah, every music, every music. Well, the script right now is really timely because of the way they treat arts in St. Lucia. Arts, you know, something people really take serious. Ready? So I was showing the, the difficulties that artists go through, but there's a love story in the play where this, this man is a accountant. They have a daughter, but there's symbolism because he represents the system. Okay? Gloria. Come Gloria. Now. Gloria. Not now. What do you mean, not now? You know, sooner or later we have to deal with it. And his daughter now is involved, like this artist, his actor. And it, for, as far as he's concerned, his daughter should never go and get involved with this fellow. But she's a teacher, and she teaches theatre arts. So she wants to move on to she, that, that what she loves. But as far as he's concerned, that they're making money, that's a waste of time, don't get involved in that. So I show him the conflict, both in terms of the love story, the class, the love story, and where the system now makes it difficult for people like me, that in the arts and actors and those people, so the problems that, that they encounter. Ruby cannot speak to me any way she feels like. I will not stand for this foolishness. Here are ways to reduce your plastic bag use. One, refuse plastic and take your own reusable bags when you shop. Two, reuse your single-use plastic bags when you shop until they are no longer fit for the job. Three, repurpose your plastic bags and use them to line your trash can, paint trays, and more. Four, dispose of your plastic bags by recycling. Shop wisely and reduce, reuse, repurpose, and recycle. Hi, my name is Sidil, and you may know some of my hits like this one. Don't play with man. Man pull up like 10 bad man in the bun. Our music inspires and entertains. It powers festivals and is an integral part of our history and culture. Creating good music takes hours of thought, writing, arranging, recording, and production. When people or businesses who use our music publicly or for commercial gain get a music license, they're not just keeping the law, they're also supporting music creators, producers, musicians, singers, sound engineers, and many others in the music industry. Keep the great music coming. Get a music license for your business place or event. Support music rights. For more information, visit echorights.com. This message is brought to you by Echo and this Echo license station. Echo, Echo, Echo. protecting music rights. CDF is both a champion for cultural preservation and development change agent. Established in April 2002 by the CDF Act of 2000 as the agency responsible to align the aspirations of cultural and creative individuals, groups, communities, policy makers and civil society through the implementation of the National Cultural Policy of St. Lucia, we envision a strong, united and proud St. Lucian community empowered by culture and creativity. For more information on how you can partner with CDF on some of our projects and efforts, go to cdfstlucia.org or contact Cultural Development Foundation Barnard Hill Catheries, PO Box CP5405, call us at 457-9021 or send us a fax at 459-0615, email us at info at cdfstlucia.org. My life and I want more, more time, more power. Pay my Lucy Leck bill isn't hard. I pay with credit or debit card. Pay direct to Lucy Leck my account. I have the power. Yeah. Pay online to Lucy Leck my account anywhere, any day, any hour. Lights are on at home. No more standing in line. No more worrying about my bill. Now I'm all paid up. Got more time to chill. Yeah. yeah. Pay my Lucy like bill is not I pay with credit or debit card.
Tama, every time I risk in everything to see, I choose you. Me not giving up on us is choosing you, dams. I want to audition for, um, for all three of us because I believe um, you have to let you have to get out of your comfort zone a little. Um, I would say Cashman is not really my my type of vibe because Cashman is a very um, raggedy person. Cashman is a very like I would say DNA or that kind of thing, and, and that's not that's not me. But um, I believe that. If it is that you want to be successful in life and you have to take chances and you have to do things differently and i believe that um if i do um audition and i get through it would be a very big thing for me um as that's for the cash plan role um but the other two roles i want to take uh i want to audition for it's um jake and the um dr pat you guys started talking about about that time yeah tell us that's how bad i am the english bit in me i want to play in this just Well, I'll be auditioning to play the nurse because that's the only person that Daniel has asked me to read for. I mean, I have acted before in the States and on Broadway, so I have it in me to do it. Well, I play different roles and I love to learn lines, so, and my personality changes, so I guess it's, that's what they say about Gemini's, they're two faced. And <laughs> they have different personalities. Well, at the right time for the right purpose. The nurse has. A pretty short part now, so I like the nurse because the nurse is really not there that much. Well, with the character Louis Joseph, it has a kind of commanding role to it, and not only a commanding role, also it um, uh, is uh, as a nurse you have the ability to actually talk to your patients and make them understand themselves and calm them, and you also get to even act a bit too faced at times, so I kind of like that about it, I guess. <laughs> hey! Hey! You are making too much noise there! I report you to Sister Charles again! We will make you stand in the sun again! The play is a very serious social commentary. Uh, I know some people might feel offended when, I, when the play might touch some nerves, I know that too. But you have to see what I have to say. You expect me to sit and talk to him? I'd rather go. This house has rules, you know what to do. That's your favorite line. I got involved in this production because Mr. Hayden Ford and I have worked together. I did the vagina monologues with him. Um, I played three characters in that play. He asked me to join this um, endeavor and I obliged. Go ahead, you want to talk about that? What you don't want to talk about? What you avoiding? Nothing! Damn! Can we just change the topic, please? It's a very different character for me because she's somewhat timid at times and anybody who knows me knows that I'm a very outspoken person. Um, however, she can be bold and I, I believe that I can relate to that aspect of the character. It's always about me. Why do you always treat me like a child? Baby, baby girl, ain't nobody treating me like a child. Come sit in my room. Act like a child. Who will be treated like We share a passion for the arts, myself and the character, and um, just the pursuit of excellence because I too am pursuing my education, just like the character. Theatre has been the goal from, I think, from my first class in convent, I was like, yeah, this is it for me, this is what I want to do. Regardless of the, how do you, how are you going to get a job, you think you'll survive, um, you're not going to get paid any money. You forget you're from St. Lucia, like all those things that I hear all the time. It's it's what I want to do. I even if I have to do something else, make a little money on the side. But theatre has been the goal for the probably since I was in form three now. This play actually talks about theatre and the struggles with the arts. So it's something that I really admire, even aside from all the other social issues that it talks about, but specifically the fact that he took the time to mention in this script that theatre is important and young people should be encouraged to do it. Like that struck me from the beginning. So I was like, yeah, I, 
really want to do this. Tony used to be so outgoing, so lively, and all of a sudden, all of that changed just because that's what we all break up. The character that I'm playing, Alice, is so different to any character that I've ever played in my life. She's very out there and bold and doesn't care what people have to say and does what she wants and Hayden's always tell me I'm too conservative. I have my nice sexy shorts on, my legs showing, I have a short top, on my belly out. Girl, you should have seen the boys' eyes pop out of their heads when they saw me. When I'm playing the role, like I am definitely out of my comfort zone with this role, but that's good because you don't want to be typecasted. You want to be able to be well-rounded as an actor. These young people know this, they, they don't listen. It's like they, they just can't listen to what people say in everything. I love drama from secondary school. Um, I was a part of our school drama team that's the St. Joseph High School in um, Guyana, of course. And then I just fell in love with the stage. So now she has grown and she turned a big girl. Neither of us can control her. Now you want to blame me. Gloria, Gloria, Glo Gloria. Gloria is in her late 40s. But she is silently hurting and her hurt is mainly for her family because she is seeing her family is being destroyed it's slipping away and she's trying her best to be the anchor and just hold it together so you would find sometimes she is leaning on both sides the husband marcus and the daughter ruby not wanting to be biased. There was a main actor and he had domestic issues. So he decided he couldn't continue, so we had to take up somebody to play the next part to put in his, his role. And that had been um, a problem because we had to start from scratch. The easiest way to pay your loose select bill is online on any of your secure devices. Go to www.myaccount.looseelect.com on your phone, tablet, or computer. Have your electricity account number and meter number ready and follow the step-by-step -step instructions to register and set up my account. Voila! You can review your account and pay your electricity bill online directly to Lucelect or through your bank 24-7, anytime, anywhere. When you want to pay your bill, open My Account. Click on Pay Bill on the left of the page. Choose Pay My Bill by credit or debit card on the right to pay directly to Lucelect. Continue to the payment website, complete credit or debit card details, and submit payment. Alternatively, if you have online banking and you want to pay through your bank, choose Pay Through Your Bank and select your bank from the list. Your bank's login page will open up. Sign in to pay your electricity bill through your bank via online banking. Pay Lucelect bills online and get back to your life. CDF is both a champion for cultural preservation and development change agent. Established in April 2002 by the CDF Act of 2000 as the agency responsible to align the aspirations of cultural and creative individuals, groups, communities, policy makers and civil society through the implementation of the National Cultural Policy of St. Lucia, we envision a strong, united and proud St. Lucian community empowered by culture and creativity. For more information on how you can partner with CDF on some of our projects and efforts, go to cdfstlucia.org or contact Cultural Development Foundation Barnard Hill Castries, PO Box CP5405, 
call us at 457-9021 or send us a fax at 459-0615. Email us at info at cdfstlucia.org. Here are ways to reduce your plastic bag use. One, refuse plastic and take your own reusable bags when you shop. Two, reuse your single-use plastic bags when you shop until they are no longer fit for the job. Three, repurpose your plastic bags and use them to line your trash can, paint trays, and more. Four, dispose of your plastic bags by recycling. Shop wisely and reduce, reuse, repurpose, and recycle. Unfortunately, things just started happening. Ruby, of course when I wasn't seeing you, of course things started piling in my head. The character I was playing is Snatch before I started playing Tony. I'm acting as Tony now, and the reason I was selected is because the character, well, the person I was playing, Tony, dropped out. When he first told me, well, when Hayden first told me that I was going to play Tony, I had a lot of self-doubt. I was like, nah, man, I can't do that. Should I tell him no? Or, you know, or just go with the flow? So I started going with the flow. Then, like halfway through the script, I was like, nah, man, that's too much. I can't do that. Nah, man, I can't do that. Because Snatch had a little bit of lines and at Carrie Fester, I didn't have that much lines to go through. So getting the lead role now was a bit difficult for me. He had been picking up himself, they have been coming to rehearsal, so in the next couple of weeks we should be, be ready. Aiden came to us and he was like, guys, listen, do not go over the lines, like, do get the lines first, get the character first, before you get the lines. Mm. So I went home, that sat on my mind for a little while, and I was like, okay, let me go over the lines, get the character, and then learn the lines. And then, yeah, from then on, like after a day or two, the lines came to me like that, I was like, wow, that was wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, you want to travel with Shadow Dress? There's one or two people that might be con I have concern over because of the way they're working. Because of the way they're working. What well, favor I tell you I want concern? What favor? But they have to look at me like that. Uh, so nothing to worry about. Man, stop with the suspense. Well, I'm a police officer attached to the Marshall Station. And my schedule at work is very hectic. I have to remain at the station for 48 hours and another 72 hours. So that's two days in, two days out. And we have results all through the week and I can only come on the days I'm off. So why are you careful? Huh? Tony, what are you hiding in that, sir? On my days off, I can, I can come in and have my liberty to, to give my performances, my rehearsal times during that time. I mean, he's very flexible and we always find the best ways that both of us can win. I can come in when it's, when it's, when it's available for me to come in. And he's very understanding and, and accommodating in that sense. If we continue practicing every day, we should also reach our peak. What are you not telling me? Does my father have something to do with this? I know a lot of the performing artists personally um, and I can definitely say that in St. Lucia a lot of performing artists are really struggling and it's just a lack of resources. Um, however, they're making the best of what they have. When you have children now come from secondary school doing SBAs, they come and interview they are passionate for the feet or dance, and what, and what happened? So all the idea about creative industries, I don't see it happening in the rest. There must be, the government, or the authorities, let's put it so, must have facilitated those things for them, for them things to happen. She never have been doing the best, but that's as, as far as they could go. 
I just feel like the biggest problem with the arts in St. Lucia right now is that we don't have a lot of facilities. We need to train our young people, actually train them and get them certified. And I would love to see a theater school at some point where you could wake up one day and be like, I want to be a performing artist. And you can decide that you will go to school in St. Lucia, get your degree in St. Lucia and stay and work in St. Lucia. And it's not an outlandish idea where you're like, yeah, but I probably have to pick up four jobs on the side. I will go and look for my child. Now excuse me. And I will put my foolish pride in the way. I have no pride and I do care. Is theater slash performing arts important? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear my cry? Many times we take things for granted and performing arts is one of the ways that has a win-win ending and I'll tell you why. For the character, the people who are playing the roles, they get a chance to be themselves and yet bring out what probably is hidden. And to the audience, for those who lives in, live in secrets and keep things bundled up, when they see their life being revealed, whether it's true drama, whether it's listening to a song, whether it's looking at a dance, when they see what they are going through, through the eyes of performing arts, it brings them to a realization that I am not alone. And yes, you can hear me. So I may not tell you how I feel. And at rehearsals, we may laugh, we may have fun. But some of these lines are so deep that when you're reading, it causes you to do self-evaluation especially when you tamper with that memory. So theater is very important. Should we continue to do it? Yes, because it's, it's therapy for one soul, both the actor and the audience. It's a need. It's life. Coming up in the next episode of Curtain Call, Miriam brings her four-legged friend to rehearsal, and not everyone's happy. And it's time for the auditions in Camp Dubois, but you won't believe whose journey ends.